It's Ta-da. Michigan State. Time now for sports and the law. Lance Armstrong is being ordered by an arbitration panel to pay $10 million to a promotions company he had represented. The company sued Armstrong, claiming he committed fraud by covering up his use of performance-enhancing drugs. Sports and the law, my favorite day of the week. Steve Moskowitz here to clear this one up because I don't get it. He's, uh, Armstrong says he's going to appeal, but this is an arbitration. How can you appeal an arbitration? You can say that it was unjust, evidence wasn't considered, there, there was something wrong with the arbitrator where he didn't consider something or he was biased or something else. And also, this is a big one. This is one of the biggest ones that Texas has ever had for a long, long time. Yeah, $10 million Ten in this one. Mil. But how often is it that courts overturn an arbitration hearing? Not very often. The courts are pushing alternative dispute resolution. They want you to go elsewhere, and they don't turn it over that much. And arbitration, define that. It's one or the other? It's not anything like arbitration can't say, ah, at least it's five and a half million. It depends what kind of arbitration you have. You can have binding where essentially it takes the place of the court unless somebody really gets out of line, or you can have advisory. In Texas, they have this thing where they're sending it up to the court for review to go ahead and say, this is how it should be. So that's what's happening in Texas. It's different when we do in California here. Potentially, could this case set a standard for other cases? Other athletes have admitted to using PEDs. They continue to make their salary, or maybe they were working for companies as, as uh, sponsors or the face of a company. Could this Absolutely. be? Absolutely. A lot really? of people are watching this. I bet A-Rod is watching this case. Oh, why is that? Well, because he's a little concerned with his situation. Yeah, okay, we'll get to him in, in a second. I want to get to Armstrong is also being sued by the U.S. government because his team was the Postal Service team, U.S. Postal Service yes. team, correct? So the government, Floyd Landis, a former teammate of his, also suing him. What are they going to try? What are they trying to get out of him? They were trying to get 100 mil, which they're not going to get out of these guys. So what happened was there was a separate settlement with them for half a mil, 400,000 to the post office, 100,000 to the former teammate. But that's separate and apart from Lance. Lance is very far from done. All right, you got Alex Rodriguez on my mind, so let's get going with this one. Also this week, he issued a handwritten apology for the mistakes he made leading to a season-long suspension for his involvement in the biogenesis scandal. While saying he served the longest suspension in the history of the league for PED use and admitting mistakes, he did not admit using PEDs. So with the apology, how likely is it that A-Rod is opening himself up to a legal situation? I'm sure he had a long discussion because what this was PR, what he's trying to say is, hey, forgive me, take me back, because what he really has in mind is, look, I want to be playing with the Yankees again, and they're saying, we don't have any place for you now. And also, he has the problem with that hip, because with the hip problem he has, he may not be able to turn to hit, and that's going to be a real problem. And it's also going to be a problem putting them out on waivers. Can't, if you're on the Yankees, would you try bonuses at this guy? He has bonuses for break, breaking certain records and going certain. First, I would go after the case on the morals clause, and I'd say, look, you breached the contract, and what's really going to happen, most likely, is there'll be a backroom deal because there's too much money involved. The Yankees want him out. And on waivers, I don't know if anybody wants to hurry up and pick him up. You are all about the backroom deal. We love the back. I want it out in the open. Most of their Where's time the, the transparency yeah. with you lawyers? Keep dreaming. We <laughs> like the shadows. I like it. Steve Moskowitz, every Thursday, he breaks it down, sports and the law. For now, we're getting ready for Sportsnet Central. Feldy is here, so is KJ. We have got more on what's going on with the Warriors next.